Not just saw this channel. I can't say in the workshop because I'm in the car. We just came back from Elvash, a town where we are closest by, and um, I just uh, arranged all the, the things that had to do with electrics and water, all that kind of stuff. Uh, because well, we have to have it in our name, uh, so we can pay the bills. You know, that's what it's all about. But they also could arrange that they will raise the potential of our uh, electrics because at the moment that's not good enough. Uh, and I'm afraid that when I'm using my table saw in the future, it's going to break down. Uh, it's going to break the, the fuses. So, uh, but uh, we're going to sort that out. Um, I'm making this video because I think it's time we talk about some tools. And but I'm going to do that in the workshop. Well workshop to be so see you there about it until the spring when we put a new roof on this place uh, raise the roof a bit on this side because uh, there's a few beams that are too low and in the other workshop they were original you know and I didn't want to change them but yeah in this case uh, I think it's easier to raise the roof a bit and <laughs> make it a bit more workable uh, but like I said, it's going to wait a few months, so I just have to, you know, uh, get around things because we've got a lot of things to do at the new house. So I need the tools, uh, <laughs> and to be honest, sometimes I can't, can't even find uh, a tool because it's somewhere in this whole <laughs> mess. But we're here to talk about uh, the Von Rock tools that I've used now for about three and a half, four years. And in the beginning we had some kind of a sponsorship, well it wasn't really a sponsorship but they, uh, I could order them from the Netherlands because they come from the Netherlands uh, and I didn't have to pay the postage to Portugal. So that was the deal we had. Um, and the first thing I ordered was uh, a drill and that was, you know, for me the first uh, time I had something with a battery because, to be honest, I never saw the use of it and, and now I can't live without them. But, uh, so how did it help? The drill, uh, they're still working fine. I bought the second one like a month after it because changing the, the screw bits and the drill bits, that's, that's not handy. So one for drilling, one for screwing. Uh, yeah, they both held up fine. The batteries are still really good. Uh, I can't see anything where that the batteries get worse. They, they just keep working and uh, these two are used intensively. So the only thing is that this one has a uh, the head coming out of it a bit like half a centimeter, five mil. But it doesn't affect its function, so I'm not too bothered about that. Uh, a year later I bought 
this one because this has a hammer function, hammer drill function um, and that's great, uh, I, I need to do a lot of things here in the house uh, hang up stuff and uh, put plugs in the wall and that's fine, you know, as long as it's not going above like 8 millimeters or maybe 10 but and not have to, you know, too hard of a concrete, it's fine, I hang the post box up outside, things like that and to be honest when I do a you know, have to drill a real big hole in a concrete wall. I'm using my Hilti, you know, you, you don't use this tool for it. But for the price they cost, they're really at the low end of, of the, the, the price range. Uh, they are perfectly fine. Then we've got the angle grinder. Well, I'm really happy with this thing. Never makes any, uh, any problems. Uh, works fine and I use it a lot also to sand which isn't <laughs> what it's used to be for but it's it's really good uh, still functioning no problems at all then one tool that I never thought I would use a lot but I do is this multi cutter tool or whatever you call it and I also keep it in the van uh, when we're going somewhere because Whenever you have a little problem, you can always uh, saw a hole in something or trim something off. So this works really, really well. And I never thought I would, huh, I would use this thing so much. Then we go into the sander. Works fine. Is honestly a bit heavy in the hand. Uh, well, with a four amp. <laughs> battery it's even heavier but um, yeah it, it functions fine no problem but it is a bit of a, a thing you, know, you, you almost need to do uh, use it with two hands because it, it's just too big and the dust port keeps plopping off so that's a negative thing that's that's not constructed right but if you use it with a with a vacuum cleaner then of course it's 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 great um, yeah so functioning fine uh, but just a bit not not good for your hand it's it's a little bit too big then we've got the jigsaw uh, this jigsaw has a problem honestly um, the base already like after half a year has bended so the base plate isn't strong enough um, it's you know it still functions fine but to be accurate you want to have a flat base and this is just bended over maybe it's because I'm using it you know too roughly I don't know but that just uh, has a little flaw in it but as of its function, great, still works, no problem at all. Then uh, we've got the uh, the little vacuum cleaner, which I made into a uh, dust extraction system with a cyclone, and that's great. You know that little thing is like it's only 30, 35 centimeters big. But it's got a lot of power. Uh, it's not. It's not the battery system. You know, it's just 220. But they sell like a battery uh, cleaner, uh, vacuum cleaners now too. So maybe in the future I will think about that because <coughs> I also have to reduce a bit of power in this workshop. So I don't know uh, whether I am able to use that big metal table saw uh, in the future. I hope I can. I hope they will upgrade our our electric system. To uh, enough power because now I could use it but then I had to warn my wife inside the house to say no don't use anything because otherwise the diffusers will trip so uh, and the table saw and the miter saw are the only two things that take a lot of power because my band saw only takes like 400 watts so that's all the other tools are no problem it's only the miter saw and the table saw that are the problem there is a solution of course uh, would love to buy a Metabo uh, table saw uh, with batteries. Volnrock doesn't make one, so I made one myself, which I can use, the little one. 
Um, I don't, it's somewhere stacked in here, but there's a video on the channel how I made that one. Um, but yeah, the price of a battery operated table saw is still uh, a bit out of my range. So, but now we come to the unpacking. I ordered a few more tools uh, in the range, in the Volrock 20 volt range, because I already got the batteries and the chargers. And if you buy the tools without uh, batteries, they're really cheap. But in this case, I bought a few tools that are with a battery, because then I can extend uh, the range. But the first thing, this doesn't have a battery, but it's a moisture meter and of course I can't tell you yet whether it works well or not but because we are in a different environment uh, it's all a bit in the summer it's going to be much hotter here in the winter it's a bit colder so to check wood and all that kind of thing I it's only like 17 euros or something and uh, in the upcoming video I'm going to use it and then in the end after a year or so we can say does it work well or doesn't it work well but that's just a little gimmick just a moisture meter for wood and for other materials so you can program it for the, the right kind of stuff so we'll see about that it's, it's not an important thing but I just had to order a few tools so I thought I'd order this with it then, uh, because this uh, has a, a bended uh, base, I thought I order another one. And because the design is now changed, and I think, well, maybe that's you know gonna have the base plate a bit you know, different. So we'll see. So when I open this box some room here so we can see it. When I open this box we of course get the cards and we get the bag that they are always uh, giving with it. A little booklet, a charger, the battery and the design has changed and this base compared to this base it looks the same but it isn't on the side it's got much more it's got much more metal here on the side so this one bent it because it's getting very thin here and this one's wider it's a much easier design the flat ones so battery is already charged it comes with a few few blades but yeah this is what I ordered and I hope this one will uh, do better and for more precise work I can still use uh, the other jigsaw for you know, the rough work cutting something off or whatever but yeah so this is the first new tool that we order and I have to find out how it works but I'll let you know whenever I use it a bit. Now for the second tool uh, I had a good reason to order it. We're going to make paneling in the whole house. Um, it's all rendered walls, white inside, and we just like some coziness as you call it. So I want to make paneling at 1 meter 20 high uh, in all the rooms downstairs and we have, we have a special solution for that. There will be a video about that. but. I don't want to use a nail and a hammer to get all the little parts in, so I ordered 
this thing comes again with the cards and the bag and this bag is pretty big so <laughs> so I ordered a nail gun now this one I ordered without uh, the battery I thought but let's see with battery <laughs> so and uh, yeah I have to learn to work I never had like well, like this I just used my my hand uh, attacker uh, and when I had a, a, a frame shop a, a framing company in the Netherlands I used uh, them you know uh, on air so with the compressor but these were professional things and this one, well, it's, it's still almost a hundred bucks, so uh, we're going to test it out. Um, they gave, uh, it comes with uh, the nails and uh, some parts, I don't know, I have to you know, sort that out. Ah, the clip to hang it on your belt, well, who's going to hang? A two kilo thing on this belt. No one does, I think. Uh, it's got a little light on it, and I don't know whether. Yeah, you can change the. Change the power, pluses or minus, and of course they got nails with it. So yeah, I have to see whether this. Well, that's not much. I don't know. I have to find this the charger. I have to find. Uh, that's always a problem with brands that they have different kinds of nails. But I just have to see if I can find these. But I think I have these because these are the same ones as I used uh, in my framing shop, and I still got uh, a box full of those. So. Yeah, I, that paneling I need to make, I just it needs just one nail at the top, one nail at the bottom, one nail in the middle. But, you know, doing that with a hammer, so I think this will be uh, a great way to, uh, to do that. And, you know, it gets me an extra battery and an extra charger. Because if you buy the tool with a battery, uh, then the battery is cheaper. If you buy the battery separately, they're more expensive. So sometimes the difference between with battery and without battery isn't that big. So you have to see whether you take one with or one without. But yeah, I'm going to uh, try this thing out and then we'll see uh, whether this works or not. But not here in the workshop because, well, it's a big mess in here and I'm have to take uh, this thing inside, see how everything works, read some stuff where you're going to put what and well, maybe we can put in a I don't know, we'll see. So yeah I have to uh, <laughs> to go on with working uh, it's, uh, uh, it's going to take a while and there's not going to be that much videos from here because, well, this is going to be on hold for about three months. I uh, have to do a lot of things inside our house. I'm not going to film everything because I want to keep some privacy. <laughs> uh, you know, in the old house we uh, filmed a lot uh, in our kitchen, in our living room and things like that. But I don't think I'm going to do that this time. What I'm going to do is, uh, as we don't have a studio anymore, as we had in uh, the old place, uh, one of the bedrooms is going to be my office, studio or whatever. So, uh, yeah, I think we'll film that and how we get that done. So for now, uh, could I advise Von Rock? Yeah. You can actually buy this stuff and it's pretty good. 
if you're a hobbyist, uh, I know professionals take professional tools, but on the other side, this has the same kind of quality as Parkside. And if you look at uh, German uh, channels where they compare Parkside with uh, some really expensive tools, sometimes Parkside comes out better. So if you can buy a drill for about 40 euros or a jigsaw for about 70 including batteries, uh, this is good stuff. Uh, you could buy always you know, bigger and better and more expensive, but if you're a weekend woodworker, I would just go with this kind of stuff. And uh, Von Rock comes from the Netherlands. They now have a website in German, in French, in Portuguese even. But they don't have um, everything on every uh, website of every country. So, for instance, I ordered this, uh, these new tools on Amazon in Germany. Because it's the only way I can get them here. So, uh, with payment options, you know, every country has its own payment option and some countries are just ridiculous. If you want to uh, order from Amazon Spain here in Portugal, you have to go to so many uh, things to eventually get a payment done. That's just absurd. So, and in Germany I can just pay and it's no problem. So I order on Amazon Germany and Still, they were sent out from Von Rock in the Netherlands, so it's a bit of a strange system, but it works. So for now I would say, uh, I can't do it in a workshop, but going to your workshop, do some woodworking, it's a nice way to spend your time. Do some recycling, use reclaimed materials, it's an even better way to spend your time. And see you in the next video. Até logo. Thank you.